Okay, I think we're recording now. We can get started. Thanks everyone for coming out to our new coach kickstart call. We're super excited to have so many new coaches on this team and this is just a great way for you to get started and know exactly what to do to move forward with your business. So tonight you'll hear from myself as well as the other Diamond and Star Diamond leaders on this team. So some of us may be new faces to you if you're brand new, so we'll introduce ourselves as we go through. Um, but my name is Carolyn, and I'm going to kick us off with a few um, like team page related things and just kind of like housekeeping stuff. So first of all, if you are in our team page, you should probably, this should probably look familiar to you. And I just wanted to point out a couple areas of the team page. So whether it's the Sweat Your Heart Out page or the Imagination to Fit the Fly page or any page for that matter, whatever page you're in, they're all kind of set up very similarly. So on the left-hand side, you'll see there's a units tab. So if you click on that, a lot of the content is organized by unit to make it easier for you to find. There's also a files tab. So if you're searching for something, it could be in there. I don't want you to go through like all the files in the team page because you'll spend years and years to do that. But if you happen to be looking for something, um, it could be found in there. So there's stuff that's in there for four years that is, when you go really far down, it's probably a little bit outdated. But, um, but there is a lot of good stuff in there as well. Also, the files is where you'll see sign up sheets for anything that we're doing as a team. If you want to volunteer to help out with those things, they'll be found in the files. Um, also, if you have a question, you can use this handy dandy search bar and type in like a keyword. So if you're looking for information about Success Club or you have a question about Emerald, you're looking for things like that, you can search in here and anything that has ever been posted in this group relating to that topic will show up. So it's another great way to search for information on your own um, without having to just ask your coach a question when you, before you like search in here. Um, you can also ask a question in the group. You can type it as um, a post, I guess, and ask a question. I'm sure you've seen that already happening within the page. And you really want to make sure your notifications are turned on. Yes, you will get more than normal notifications now that you are a coach. It's just part of it. But it's important that you have them turned on so that you don't miss anything. And don't feel like you have to, every time you get a notification that somebody commented on this post or somebody liked something that somebody posted, you have to look at it like every single time. Just make a note to check the page at least, at least one time a day so that you don't miss anything. Um, and then the other thing is we have team calls every Monday. That's for all of the teams we all hop on together. And we have team calls at 8 p.m. Eastern time. And this top part up here is just the banner, but it's really fun because you get to be recognized for your hard work. So every week I'm gonna start updating it and you'll see your name up there as you help people throughout the month. We'll have coach of the week, coach of the month, and the total lives change that we have changed together as a whole. So that's really awesome to, to strive for, to get your name up on that board. And we're gonna teach you tonight how to get your name up on that board. And then the other post that you really want to look out for is our events post. So this just tells you everything that's going on for the month. And this is the post that you're going to tag your new coaches on. It used to be in the banner, but I personally recently changed it because it was hard for people to actually see the, the actual words when you clicked on the banner. So this one is all in this one post that tells you what's going on for the whole month. We recognize the coach of the month for the month prior. And when you sign up a coach, it makes it really easy for you to train your coach because all you have to do is tag them in a comment, like, welcome to the team, tag them, and they have all the steps right here to follow of how to get started. So it makes your job a lot easier. You don't have to be afraid to sign up coaches in fear of not knowing how to train them. All of it is right here for you um, to make it a lot easier for you. And then also the time tree calendar if you haven't joined that yet, make sure you do. The link to do that is in this post as well, but it's basically an interactive calendar that you can have an app on your phone. So anytime we have a team event, a team call, um, a team group that we're doing, whether it's a three-day cleanse that we're doing for Thanksgiving or a sneak peek that we're hosting, you'll get a notification about it so you don't miss it and you can help out with it. That's you, right, Emmy? <laughs> I thought we switched. Lauren, are you doing these? Um, yes. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I was writing something in my calendar. 
Um, hello, everyone. I'm Lauren. Um, I am one of Carolyn's coaches, and I've been a coach for almost three and a half years now. Um, if I don't know you, hello. <laughs> um, okay, so um, as a coach, we are responsible if you want your business to move forward in any way, even if it's just as a hobby or just to pay for your shakes every month, or if you want to like build this into a full-time income, we are responsible for doing the four vital behaviors daily. Um, these are not made up by any of us. These are tested and tried and true um, by all of the successful coaches in this business. So um, it's literally this simple. These are the things that you need, need, need to be doing and you need to be spending your time on before you go into like making pretty graphics and doing all those other little side projects you want to do. Um, so number one is being proof that the product works. That means you're drinking your shake every day. That means you're doing a workout from your um, Beachbody On Demand streaming library every day. And that means that you're completing a workout program from start to finish. So not just like skipping around, but actually getting results that you can show. Sorry, I feel like this is like weirdly close up to my face. Okay, is that better? I was like this close, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it's dark in my room. Um, but yeah, that means before and after photos, you need to be documenting your entire journey and sharing it along the way. Um, follow your meal plan. Like you have to realize that your body is now your billboard for your business. So if you want people to trust you to help them, you need to show that you are doing the work yourself um, and that it's possible because that's what makes them realize that it's possible for them as well. Um, oh, and okay. So then we connect with new people, we invite people and we follow up with people. So making new friends, reaching out, whether it's on Facebook or Instagram, whatever platform you like, ideally both. Um, but we have business activity trackers in the team page. Um, I guess new coaches wouldn't be in that success club group yet, huh? Carolyn, right? Um, but we do have business activity trackers. Um, you should have gotten some sort of um, what is the word I'm thinking of? Carolyn, what's the thing you made? The blueprint thing. The blueprint. Right? Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's exactly what I was thinking, my brain. Um, but that shows you like step by step. I'm so sorry. Let's try. Oh, maybe it's fine. Okay. Um, but that shows you a step by step of what you need to be doing every day. But you need to be... I'm going to go in my closet and see if this is better. Sorry. So if you haven't met me yet, I have a bird, and um, he makes his presence known on all the team calls, and now I'm closed in my closet, so he can't see me. Okay, sorry. Anyway, um, yes, so you need to be reaching out to new people. You need to be inviting. You need to actually be letting people know that you have something that you're inviting to. So that means you have to be running challenge groups. You have to be inviting to the coaching opportunity. We have tons and tons of events every single month that you could be inviting to. Um, you just want to make sure you're always inviting to something. Um, and then you also want to be sharing, like I said before, sharing to your social media, um, your own journey, but then doing call to actions within that. So you can invite straight up in your, uh, post, um, you can be asking people for their emails and your call to actions. You should be having regular call to actions. Sorry, I'm trying to make sure I didn't miss anything. The bird ruined my flow. You're good. They can read it too, so. Yeah, cool. All right. Um, and then getting people results. So you have to actually be really like plugged into your challenge groups. You have to be helping. This is not, you know, I'm sure you already know by now because I'm sure your coach told you when you signed up, but this is not the type of thing that you just like sign up a bunch of people and abandon them. Like we need to actually be checking in with them and helping them get results um, within our challenge groups. And then doing your personal development is huge, huge, huge. Like 
I think probably the most important thing, because if that is lacking and your mindset is lacking, everything else is going to fall apart. You can go to the next one. Okay. Um, it's also super crucial that you are earning Success Club every month. So whether you are trying to build this into a full-time income or just trying to pay for your shakes, if you're trying to pay for your shakes and you earn Success Club every month, they're taken care of. That means you're helping three people each month minimum, right? So um, basically every time you set someone up with a challenge pack or um, Shakeology on Home Direct, you get two points. There's Success Club 5, which you would really have six points, um, but there used to be ways of getting one point. They just haven't changed it. Um, but Success Club 5 is the minimum, and that is when you help three people every month. You want to aim for more than that because things happen. Sometimes people have to return things. Sometimes, you know, whatever, life crises happen. So you always want to be aiming higher than just the minimum. You don't want to be shooting for the bare minimum every month because you're going to end up falling short at some point in time and then you're going to be very stressed out and you can just solve all of that ahead of time and be proactive and just aim for helping like five plus people every month rather than only three. Um, also for your, uh, to qualify for Success Club, you need to have 90 PV in HD, like on your account. So if you're getting Shakeology Home Direct every single month, you're covered. That's it. You don't have to think about it. Um, I know there are also some options where you're getting, I think, the pre and the post workout together. Um, that counts as well. Um, oh, and then if you earn Success Club your first three months as a coach, you are a success starter and you get a free ticket to Summit, which is really awesome. And like, an event that every single coach should try to make it to. But if you can get there for free, you should definitely take advantage of that. Yeah, that's an awesome photo. Thank you, Carolyn. <laughs> um, and also, my favorite part, you earn free trips if you're hitting Success Club every month. You can qualify for the Success Club trip. And that's awesome. Last year, we all went to Mexico and it was like the most fun I've personally ever had. Um, <laughs> But the next year is a cruise and like every single year they do a success club trip, but you need to actually be earning success club to qualify and then also to pay for your trip along the way. Okay. And then um, if you have any plans of making any sort of money with this business or growing this business in any way, you need to start growing your team. Um, so the first step of that is becoming an Emerald coach. It is super simple. You should, you know, you should do it in your first 30 days minimum. You could literally do it tonight if you actually set your mind to it and tried. It's really just you and two other coaches. So that can be you and two other coaches who want to work the business with you. It could be you and your mom and your sister because they want discounts on their Shakeology. Um, it could be you and your spouse and your best friend. Like I tell the story all the time, but I hit Emerald completely by accident. I didn't even know what I was doing. I was just talking to my friends and they were like, we want to do that with you. And I was Emerald suddenly and I didn't even know how. So it's really not hard. Um, it's not something you should build up to this like huge, huge thing in your brain. Just go and do it. It's super simple. Um, and then from there, you want to be uh, reaching for diamond. So diamond should be a goal you have in your first three months as a coach. So diamond means you plus um, eight of your own personally sponsored coaches. And then you help two of those coaches reach Emerald. So like I just explained, Emerald's super simple. Once you reach it, you can teach someone else how to reach it really easily. Um, and if you look, Diamond is basically just hitting Emerald four times. And if you're hitting Success Club every month and you, oh, thank you, Carolyn. So say you sign up three new coaches this month and you hit Success Club and now you've got three coaches towards your Diamond. And then next month, say you sign up another three coaches. This is a great visual. Thank you. <laughs> and you hit Success Club again and then you're even closer to Diamond. And then the following month, you sign up three more coaches, you're already beyond diamond. You help two of your coaches 
hit emerald and that's it. It's n super, super simple. You're really just hitting emeralds over and over again and <laughs> hitting success club and then you get a giant gold star. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think the next one is not me. Is that number six? You're muted, Carolyn. I don't know what you're saying. Okay, so I am Emmy. For those of you guys who don't know me, I'm also one of Carolyn's coaches and have also been a coach for three and a half or so years now. I'm sorry, my lighting is super creepy. I am lit by like a salt lamp, so it's making the whole room look glowy and pink. I'm going to be talking about exactly what to do now. So if you're wondering what the first thing to do is and you're, you're fresh out of the gate and you're like, all right, what do I do first? The first thing that you always want to do as a coach is really be walking the talk like we talked about with the four vitals, being proof of the product. And that means you yourself need to commit to being in a challenge group, but also running your own. So this is not something you want to wait to do. And it's not something you want to say, well, when I have people, I'll start a group. You need to go ahead and set a date right now where you're going to host your first challenge group. You can call this a virtual gym or a support group or a challenge group. It just means your online group, however you choose to run it, where you are plugged in with your clients, whether that's your mom and your cousin or whether that's 30 people, eventually it will be, but we all start somewhere and you just want to go ahead and set a date. So being that it's the fifth of the month, if it were me and I was a brand new coach today, I would set it to start probably the 19th. I wouldn't, well, is the 26th after, is that the day before Thanksgiving? Maybe not the 26th, but definitely the 3rd of December would be a great time. I like to start mine on a Monday and everybody after Thanksgiving is going to be looking for a way to get back on track. So just go ahead and set a date and you can partner up with another new coach. You can partner up with your coach. We're not saying if it's week one, what are you guys laughing at? This makes me so nervous. Okay. Is it me? <laughs> okay. Um, you can partner up with your own coach to do this. And normally that's what I do with my new coaches. I kind of take you under my wing the first month and you can run this through Facebook, the challenge tracker app that Beachbody provides, however you want. And you can talk specifics. Um, you can, your coach will help you figure out how to run a group. We have so many materials already made, but it's basically the concept is not to wait until you have people. It's really a, if you build it, they will come sort of thing. If you set a date and commit and start inviting and funneling people into that group, you will find the people, I promise. And we've all run groups that were two people and super quiet, but that's okay. Give those two people a really awesome experience and we all have to start somewhere. Okay, go ahead and go to the next slide, please. So this is a sample challenge group invite. This is one I made a couple days ago or a week ago. And this is a great way to start getting interest. So there's two really main ways you're gonna start getting interest publicly, which would be through a post, and then privately, which we'll talk about in a second. Publicly though, you definitely wanna be posting about it, not just once. So let's say our pretend challenge group starts December 3rd, at least six or seven times between now and then, I would say at least twice a week, you wanna be posting about it, if not more throwing the date in there, talking it up. And the best way to talk about a challenge group and to get people to perk up and take interest is to share your own transformation. Whether you are just starting and you haven't had a big one yet, I mean, as you can see, mine is about gaining weight. So don't think that you have to have a weight loss transformation. I have pretty much only gained weight through Beachbody because that's what I needed to do. So it doesn't matter if it's an emotional transformation, you're on day three of your own program and you're just already starting to feel better and have more energy and feel more confident. That's a huge win. So don't wait until you're done with your program. Start talking about it now. Or if you've already finished a program, talk about a past transformation and share your story. Be really real and vulnerable. Talk about how you felt and how you now feel. And then at the end, you can do a call to action, which is what a CTA is, which would be something like drop your email below if this resonates with you and I'll get you the information about joining my next virtual gym. And yeah, if you don't have, okay, I think I was everything with that, but that was everything. Yeah, if you don't have a transformation, don't let that stop you is really all I was going to say. Um, you can also share someone else's in the team. We have a whole photo album of team transformations that you can also use. So your first private invite, so that was the public side of talking about your group. 
on the behind the scenes side of things, this is what you're gonna be doing via text, Instagram DM, Facebook DM, however you choose to talk to people, you need to be sending these messages out and the easiest people to invite first off, if you are brand new, that's what this dirt list thing refers to, is people who would buy dirt from you. So people who already know, like, and trust you, you don't have to build rapport with them. So family, friends, roommates, coworkers, people that already know you. And these are two example ways you can phrase it. And I really like both of these because you're not pretending that you have been around the block forever and that you know everything. You're saying up front in these sample invites, hey, I just started this business or, you know, I just started this group. You can read through these on your own time. But basically you're saying, I'm starting this. I'm already feeling awesome. And I'm starting this group to share it with others. I know you're super busy, blah, blah, blah. But it's made for busy people and it's super simple to follow. Would you be willing to check it out? So you're not really asking them to buy anything in both of these. You're just saying, you know, are you willing to check it out? Or in the first one, you're just even asking, this would be a family member you're very close with, you're asking them to be your guinea pig and to try this out with you. So no pressure with these people you already really know. And then this is just going more in depth into the invitation process. Um, we gave you those scripts so you can take those and use them verbatim or change them up a little bit and make it sound like you, which you should always do with any script we give you. But this is just the overall invitation process and you're gonna wanna reach out to people every single day. So when you're using this, this um, coach business activity tracker that Lauren talked about, you're gonna see inviting is a huge component of our daily work. And it is scary at first, at least it was for me, it is awkward at first, but you have to remember you're behind the safety of your screen or your phone. It's literally not that big of a deal to just send somebody a message. The worst they can say is no. And almost everybody does it first, by the way. But when you begin to invite somebody, you always want to start with asking about their goals. You really want to ask a lot of questions. That's the main thing I do when I'm talking to somebody is I'm asking, asking, asking. I'm being enthusiastic and genuine. You want to really dig deep into what they want to accomplish. And you want to then tell them about the program, but you definitely don't want to just word vomit all over them, everything that, um, you know, here's what you're going to get and it's $160 and then you're going to get this superfood and you're going to get a meal plan. So I would say if you are the type of person who likes step-by-step -step things, and we have a lot of scripts saved that are step-by-step. -step. First say this, then say this, then ask this. I would lean on those really heavily at first and I still use them. I mean, I'm not looking at them anymore because it's in my head, but I still follow that sequence. So these are just some general points, but if you want the step-by-step -step exactly what to say, that's what these, the scripts are for. And just ask your coach and we'll, we'll hook you up with those because they're all over the team, um, the team page in our drive. And did you, Carolyn had said, oh, I was just going to touch on that really quickly. Yes, stories and posts, um, cold invites. You can invite through your stories. You can invite people that are watching your stories. Um, yeah, just the last note on that. Don't tell people up front the price that's super salesy and they will shut down because they're not going to understand the value of it yet. All right, I think that was everything. Valeria, you are up. Yes. So as Emmy said, inviting is super important. And along with that, like we have to be posting and sharing our journey authentically because that is how we have people to invite. Like if you're sharing your journey authentically and you know you're sharing the ups and the downs, like this is not just gonna be an upward roller coaster and you're never gonna have any problems. Like if you have, you know some slip ups, like maybe you didn't follow your meal plan one day, like share that as well, because you're human and people relate to those pain points. Like people will relate to your flaws and no one wants to be coached by perfect fitness Barbie that eats kale salads every day. Um, so yeah, like less selfies. Um, you can literally like prop your phone up on a windowsill or like I prop mine up on my laptop cause the lighting is good. Like where I have my computer and I'll literally just like set the selfie timer and like just do a couple poses and have pictures to like post for when I'm feeling uninspired or when I feel like I look like crap. Like when you're feeling inspired and creative, like take advantage of that time, jot down ideas of like what you will um, be writing out in your post. Like if you think of something in the shower, like, do a voice memo of it, be like, hey, blah, 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 
to myself, I thought of this in the shower and we'll make a good post. Um, so that helps you like stay authentic and not feel like you're forcing your content. Um, but yeah, consistency is key. So the way I like to think about it is like stories is like your reality TV show. And then, um, your feed is like your magazine, like magazine of your life. So if you open up magazine of your life, like Valeria's life, what do I want to see? Like, I love vegan food. I love, um, traveling, like fitness, like no equipment workouts that I can do while traveling, stuff like that. So think of like the things that you enjoy and like what is pertinent to your brand and use that as inspiration for your posts. There's a ton of free apps out there. So there's really no excuse to like not make your pictures look good. Like don't just grab it straight from the camera roll and upload it. Like actually, you know, make sure it looks nice. Like make sure it looks co cohesive in your page. But on that same note, don't let um, you know, wanting your page to be perfect, stop you from posting. Like you want to be consistent with your posting. Um, you want to be posting at least once a day or, and adding value. Like, um, don't just, you know, say like, Oh, great workout. Like, what does that help? How is that helping your followers? Like you want to create value for your followers and then people will comment be like, Oh, what workout did you do? And then you can start a conversation from that. Um, but yeah, plan ahead. That is so crucial. I am super guilty of not planning ahead and then just flying by the seat of my ass. Carolyn is awesome at this. Planoly is a lifesaver. It's also free. And it, it's so cool because it shows you like, as you're seeing in the calendar, it shows you like how many likes you get each day and what times. And as you're posting consistently and more consistently, you can see like, okay, when I post at noon, I get more engagement than like at night. So then you can start posting at noon more and get more engagement that way. Um, I think that was it on this slide. Yeah. Next slide. Okay. Um, so these are examples of what not to do. This is very like 2006. Okay. It's 2018. We are past this point of like a ton of text and like flashy graphics. Like we don't want that. Um, don't say the names of the programs. Like if you're doing lift four, say like lifting and hit program. If you're doing shift shop, say like, um, cardio, I don't, I don't even know how to describe shift shop that, but yeah, like don't use other words. Like don't say the actual program name because you want to create curiosity. Like if you just say, Oh, I'm doing lift four and it's super awesome. Um, people are just going to go Google lift four and buy a challenge pack and that's not going to benefit you at all. So you want to create curiosity. Um, I like, you'll notice a lot of us coaches, say like use different words for like shakeology and energize like i call it magic lemonade kellen calls it crap juice so be fun with it like you know stay true to your brand like be authentic um don't just copy other coaches that is one thing that i was very bad about when i started out um you can use this as like inspiration but stay true to who you are like don't change how you are and how you would talk like people are going to see right through that if you're all of a sudden um writing your captions out and you don't sound like yourself at all like people are gonna notice but yeah um, no stock photos no prices on pictures you want to be talking about that in your DMS as Emmy said you want to have a full conversation with them before a price is ever mentioned um, and don't be salesy like everyone will just run away from that people already have their guard up a little bit on social media because um, gonna be real like there's a lot of health coaches out there but the one thing that you need to remember is that no one is doing it like you are. You are your, I forgot how you say the saying, but it's like, you are your superpower. Your superpower is you. Like no one else is doing this like you are. And pe people are going to relate to you in a way that they would not relate to anyone else. Um, so yes. Okay, you, for, you are the only you there is. Yeah, <laughs> Something like yeah, that. <laughs> That one. You. Um, yeah. Erica just asked a question. Why must we aim to post each day? So, um, a lot of the times, like the same people will not see your posts every single day. And that's just how the algorithm works. So you, I would say aim to post each day. Um, just because it's showing that consistently, like you're showing up in people's feeds. If you just aim, post once a week, like, people are either not going to ever see your post there, maybe see it like once a month. Um, so you really want to stay consistent, see consistent as 
Kelsey said, it builds trust with your audience too, because when people see that you're being consistent, you're kind of like walking the walk and talking the talk. So no one's going to sign up with a coach that is not like true to their own journey and consistent with their own journey, if that makes sense. But did I miss anything? I feel like no, I think you're good. All right. I'm going to close it up now. Now that you know what to do, you have all this information, we're going to set some goals because if you don't have goals, it's really hard to move forward in your business. So I've been setting goals for four years. I have some goals that I set four years ago that I still haven't achieved yet. I have some goals that I set that I did achieve and I set new goals because once you achieve a goal, you set a new one or else you don't have anything to work towards. So the most important thing about goals is that you write them down and you have them somewhere visible, whether it's you know, in, uh, in a picture frame on your wall or on your refrigerator or on your computer screen, your phone screen, like anything like that. You just really want to make sure it's around you because if you keep seeing it every day, it's in your face at all times and you're more likely to achieve that goal. So whether your goal is to pay for your shakes every month, uh, maybe you want to earn an extra 400 to $500 a month, Maybe you want to earn more than that. You know, it doesn't matter whatever your goals are. There's no goal that's too small. There's no goal that's too big. The most important thing is that you write them down and you believe in yourself that you can achieve them. And also know that whatever your goals are, your coach is going to match your pace. So if you want to run with this, we'll run with you. If you want to walk with this, we'll walk with you. We're never going to make you run if you just want to walk right now and you just want to pay for your shakes. That's cool. But if you want to build a big girl business and be able to, you know, go on vacation with your family and put money aside for different things like a beautiful kitchen with white cabinets and, and gray slate countertops, whatever you want to have. Um, I gotta love those white cabinets, <laughs> but whatever it is that you have in, on your dream board, if that's what you want um, to go for, just know it's totally possible with this business. And we can tell you all the things that we've done and all of the awesome things that this business has brought into our lives, but that would take forever. Um, but just know that whatever it is that you want this business to do for you, it will, as long as you're willing to do the work that it takes to get there. So write your goals down, obviously share those with your coach if you haven't already. And now we're going to get a little bit more detailed with those because no matter what your life goals are, your business goals have to kind of match that. So if you want to pay for your shakes, you should be saying that you're going to help at least three people in November. If you want to pay for your shakes and also make more money on top of that, maybe go for five or 10 or whatever. Dream big. The bigger your goals you set, the, like, the closer you're going to get. So if you say you're going to hit 10, maybe you'll help eight, but you're still, it's better than helping three. Like Lauren was talking about, always aim for a little bit more than what you are shooting for. So we want to know how many people you're going to help in November how many people you're going to help in December and how many people you're going to help in January because, oh my gosh, it's going to be 2019 in January and that number better be high because you know how a lot of people are going to want to get fit in the new year. So make sure that you write these down. You share these with your coach. We'll actually post it. Like, didn't we do that? We posted it in the team page and they commented last time. So we can do that as well so that everyone can kind of see each other's goals and hold you accountable. Um, but we also want to know your Emerald Rank Advancement goal date. So when is it that you want to be an Emerald coach? You may really not know all about it yet, and that's okay, because tomorrow night we're having an Emerald in 24-hour call to help you, tell you why it's important, give you all the details, and help you get to Emerald tomorrow night in 24 hours. So if you're around tomorrow and you want to be an Emerald coach and learn more about how it's beneficial to your business, then make sure you hop on that. Um, so we want to know the goal date for that. And then also set your diamond goal date. Even if you have no idea, like what it takes to get there yet, just set it anyway, because having a goal is better than not setting one at all. And you like, you will surprise yourself. Once you hit Emerald, you can hit diamond because it's just hitting di Emerald four times. And you'll see that once you get into this, but make sure you set a diamond goal date. Um, and then also kind of keeping in realistic terms, it's, you know, at least 30 days or less for Emerald, 90 days. Some have done it less and for Diamond. So, like, no, it doesn't matter whatever you want to set, but just kind of keeping that around your goal helps with that as well. Um, and also know that rank advancements happen on Thursday morning. So if you sign up two people tonight and you freak out because you're not Emerald, you will be. 
Thursday morning. So the way that the week works, that's how the pay week works. Every Thursday morning, you get paid. Um, every Thursday morning, your new rank is there. Every Wednesday night, you want to make sure that you're active so that you don't wake up and you're inactive on Thursday, but we'll talk to you more about that. Um, but we just really want to make sure that you're setting goals, not just for right now, but three months in advance. Like you want to create that consistency for your business and get your free ticket to summit because we want you to be there. It's like the most fun event ever and it will change your life. It'll change your business and you may find yourself ugly crying in the streets, um, hugging each other after you complete an hour and a half long workout, but that's okay. It's a lot of fun. So you definitely want to be there. It's like EDM for fitness people and it's amazing. Um, and then we just wanted to kind of give you a couple steps moving forward. So obviously what do you do now? You get it, put yourself out there. Some of you have already done that. I know I saw Lindsay's post the other day. We haven't even had a call yet and she's already putting herself out there and posting and doing the things. Um, you just really want to fail forward and that's how you're going to learn and grow in this business. So start inviting, start posting, Start using your materials. If you haven't gone through your seven day quick start or your coach training yet, make sure you do that. Um, start today. Don't wait until you're done with that to start talking to people because you're, you're gonna hold yourself back by waiting until you know everything because newsflash, you're never gonna know everything. I don't know everything. Nobody on this call knows everything. We're always learning as we go and the way things change, um, it's pretty much impossible to know everything at any point in time. So just keep, being a student, a constant student, always being a student is like the, your biggest skill in this business. Um, we talked about checking the team page, being an active member of the team. You know, the more you participate and the more you help out with groups and volunteer for things, that's one step into being a leader. And the more you like step outside of your comfort zone and do things like that, the faster your business is going to grow because you're taking the steps towards becoming a leader. Um, so we want to make sure that you guys know you can help out with anything in the team page. It's not just for us. It's not just for the diamonds or the like star diamonds or whatever. It has nothing to do with that. Like if you want to help out and you know, you want to help us run a three day group or something, you totally can do that. Cause everyone here has the ability to do awesome stuff or else you wouldn't be here. Cause we probably wouldn't have invited you if we didn't think you would. Um, and then the last thing is to just make sure that once you're committing to your program, you're committing to your business. So you're treating your business like you're treating your fitness program. You know, like when you're doing your workouts every day and you're drinking your shake every day, that's part of your business. So if you haven't seen this yet, you will very soon because it is wrapped into the seven day quick start. But this is the blueprint that Lauren was talking about. And basically this will guide you through what you should get done each day and obviously you know you can move things around if your day is different but it will tell you literally everything to get done in your day and it's not like an, a certain amount of things it's literally telling you okay spend 30 minutes doing this so if you only have 15 minutes then you only spend 15 minutes doing it it's just it's really flexible but it just really highlights the most important things that this business um that you do in this business and then all the other extra stuff, then that's totally up to you, like how you want to do that. But these blue things are video links. So if you have a question about, okay, how do I invite on Instagram? You can watch this video. And then these are a bunch of different resources that Emmy was mentioning, like the scripts and the invites and how to respond to objections and follow-ups. They're all in here too. So this is like the Holy grail. Everything that you ever need is like on this one um, thing right here, your blueprint your blueprint to success. So I believe that was the last one. I stopped sharing on accident, but I think that was it, right? Do we have any questions? I was talking super fast. <laughs> I'm from Jersey, what do you want? Do we have any questions? No? All right, well, let me stop the recording.